Today is one of those days where it's very, very important that you live slowly. Years ago, when we first greeted you, I emphasized the importance that day of soaking in what was around you. Do that today. Remember the people who are with you. Remember the classmates that are sitting next to you. Make memories for yourselves. And here I'm going to ask you, please, when I'm done with these remarks and we have our student speaker, as we bring up the schools in order of their founding, cheer loudly for your school. But please, please, especially those schools that uh, were founded early, participate as well as the other students are cheered by their representatives. Stay in your seats and take in the memories of the entire university today. With that, let me turn to some brief remarks. Today, we're convening with great ceremony, great joy. This is a rite of passage, and we're celebrating the infusion of great talent, knowledge, commitment, and energy from NYU into the world, a priceless gift from our university to the future. And that gift is you, the class of 2014. God bless you. A graduation, a graduation ceremony is, is like liturgy. It sets a day aside, this day, as special. We dress differently. We march to pipes. We hear speeches. We put before you, as we do with our honorary degree recipients today, examples of the kinds of humans we hope you will become. Each of the persons, if you think about it, that we honor today has accomplished a great deal. Use them as examples of what you can become. But notice that there's, there is a leitmotif that runs as a common thread through the narratives of each of their stories. It's, it's a theme, in a way, captured by some, some part of NYU's history that most of you probably haven't noticed. Our Latin motto, prestare e prestare, to persevere and to excel. Dr. Yellen has emphasized this point, but notice that in our honorary degree recipients today, we. We present you with a woman who took a divine voice and fashioned it into an entirely new and original musical style. A brilliant lawyer and academic leader who graces and enhances the highest court in the land. A preternaturally gifted pitcher whose athletic grace is surpassed only by his inner grace. A skilled and savvy attorney who's never met a problem that he couldn't solve or a project that he couldn't improve, and a leading economist who has moved the world through a brutal financial crisis and is hard at work in securing a recovery that will be sustained and shared by all. None of these stories is a story of overnight success or shortcuts. Several had to break through barriers, poverty, discrimination, resistance to the new to get to where they are. But they persevered, they kept at it, unwavering in the face of obstacles. What underlies each of their stories is the profound notion that the key to a joyful life is a fulfilling life, doing one's duty, being useful, showing up, putting in the hard work, whether it's in the classroom or the courtroom, the recording studio or the pitching mound, in the halls of power or alone at a desk. Like our honorary degree recipients, you are called to a life of perseverance and excellence. As you leave us, you've experienced and participated in the world you're about to enter. You have learned on one of the greatest human stages available in a city that is a life force, an incomparable resource, and a constant source of learning. As you left our buildings, you didn't pass through gates, you didn't walk on grass, you touched the city, 
you entered the global village that is New York, and you've incorporated that village into your very being. We live in a time when the great world has grown small. What happens in distant places around the world is experienced everywhere by everybody immediately and unavoidably. The central challenge of your collective lives will be developing ways to manage in this miniaturized world of immediacy a vast richness, a richness of race, of faith, of culture, of thought. If you are to avoid the kind of destructive balkanization that can thread the fabric of civility on a global scale, you will be forced to create pathways of comprehension and communication across what have traditionally been divisions. NYU, our university, stands as a rebuke to those who say that balkanization and fragmentation are inevitable. In your years here, you have lived in an NYU community and in a city that foreshadows what can be the best of the world to come. You have developed capacities of openness and curiosity. You forged relationships that have forced you far beyond yourselves and, and the comforts and limits of your own backgrounds. And you've experienced the intellectual richness and personal growth that can come only in a place that is the world in microcosm. As you leave us, take with you not only the great talent you honed here, but also the experience you had here. Take with you what I call NYU's attitudinal endowment, a spirit of creativity and boldness, a taste for complexity, and the joy of discovering the unknown other. We foresee your achievements, your honors, your contributions, and the difference you will make. We also realize that sometimes there will be defeats and setbacks along the way. Even Mariano gave up that blooper in Game 7 in 2001. <laughs> but either way, we hope that you will carry within you the indomitable spirit of NYU. We want you to know that you're always part of this community, even when you're not physically present in it. And in the inevitable moments, when your spirit begins to flag, come home to NYU, return to the square, touch the ground, sense its soul, and in so doing, recharge what it has meant to you. Know as well that it's important to us, those of us who live at the university, that you return again and again. The role you play for us is validating our vocations. In your years here, you gave so much of mind and spirit and heart to this university in the happy times and on the hardest days. I hope we've given you an education worthy of your talents and your aspirations. Congratulations to you, to all of you, to your loved ones. And if I may indulge your personal privilege on this day, as I wear this NYU dad cap, a special congratulation to our miracle, our daughter Katie, who graduates today with you from the law school. God bless you all.